Stefan, firstly, just how, what's it like being back in New Zealand playing professionally? It's nice to be back. Um, I've um, I missed home. Been a long, uh, been away a really long time. So to finally get back home and uh, have the opportunity to play professionally is uh, it's really good. How long has this been in the in the making for you? Um, talks about uh, coming back to Phoenix uh, started at the uh, beginning of this year, um, and then um, they obviously developed um, uh, after England. And um, yeah, that's that's it. Did you always think uh, the stage in your career you'd be back here? Or was um, I, I thought maybe I might have been here earlier, <laughs> um, but uh, no, I didn't. I haven't planned this. I haven't. Uh, I don't have a ten-year plan. Um, I take it every year as it comes, and uh, this is uh, it was just perfect timing for I think the the club and myself, and uh, we came together. What have you learned, I suppose, from the path that you you have followed? <laughs> Very unique one. Uh, a lot. I think it would be uh, too much to answer in one question. <laughs> Uh, as far as just the, the way you have become uh, a professional and the path you have followed, has it been one you've uh, got? I suppose no regrets about. No, I don't. Uh, I don't. Definitely don't have any regrets. Um, uh, all those trials and uh, tribulations, if you will, um, that uh, uh, that shaped me as a as a professional today. And uh, I think if I had it easy, or if I had uh, you know done the easy route or something, uh, um, I may not have the the same drive that I do today so uh, I think it uh, put me in good stead those tough times and I've been rewarded with a with a couple good years that I've really enjoyed the last you know the last couple of years with the All Whites and and professionally so uh, yeah I, I like my like my trip and I wouldn't change anything about it. Now you mentioned the All Whites how desperate are you to actually pull on? <laughs> yeah I want to get that game we've got those I think we've got some games in November um, I'm actually really looking forward to it. It's been a long time. The last time I was on the pitch was uh, was Peru, and uh, there were a couple there were a couple tours in the meantime. And I couldn't make the couldn't make the tours for various reasons, and uh, to to then hopefully play in uh, November is uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And is it much easier coming back to well when you come to a new club, but it's a team in New Zealand, a lot of familiar faces. Does that help you kind of settle in? Uh, Maybe you could say that. I mean, I, I know a lot of the guys from uh, from well, a couple of the guys from the national team and uh, from around the block. But um, it's mostly new faces. So uh, the clubs I've been at uh, in the past, it's uh, same kind of deal: new environment, new people. Um, even though it's home, I've been away for a very long time, so it's a it's a change. And uh, uh, but I've enjoyed it so far, and Wellington I'm familiar with, so um, just generally happy to be here. And so the first few weeks of pre-season, what have you guys kind of been up to? Um, yeah, what's kind of involved here yeah, initially? Uh, what have we been up to? We've been training very hard. <laughs> Boys are doing a lot of running. Uh, the goalkeepers have been doing a lot of goalkeeping. So uh, exactly what I like to see in a pre-season. Uh, 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 the gaff is putting in some uh, some of his ideas and uh, the way he wants to play. So uh, that we're all on the same page by that first competitive game. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's been good so far. I've been really enjoying it. And uh, the team had its first kind of hit out uh, last week. Yeah. I don't know if you managed to touch the ball or, or not. How was that? <laughs> oh, I touched the ball a couple of times. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not uh, uh, very important uh, touches. But uh, no, it was good that the team got together and we uh, we played our first, you know, uh, full 90 minutes. Uh, well, not everyone played 90 minutes, but yeah, a f full proper game. Uh, obviously, it's not. Uh, we're not. We're not playing against uh, uh, you know another A League team or um, something. So, but it's uh, it's definitely good that the, some of the stuff we. Practice during the week and over the last couple of weeks, uh, got uh, we got to put them into practice under not too much pressure. And that uh, first FFA Cup game is coming around pretty quickly. Are you looking forward to yeah that first kind of official hit out for the club? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to winning that. I don't I don't think uh, we want to be uh, in preseason for more months without any competitive games. So. Uh, First and foremost, was we've got to win that game, and uh, I think everyone's on the same page with that. And we have to be up for it because they're mid-season, and we're coming into our first competitive game. Uh, so, uh, really looking forward to the to the boys going out and performing and uh, coming away with three points. Is there an aspect too? I mean, obviously it's an A-League club against a, a second-tier club. I guess the expectation is the A-League club should win that match. Yeah, definitely. The, I mean, we have our own personal expectations, and we 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 want to win that 100%. Uh, However, like I just mentioned, they're in the middle of the, middle of the scene coming towards the end of it, so um, what, uh, what they may uh, perceivably lack in quality, they uh, make, for, make up for in probably togetherness and uh, team, uh, team bonding, so 
you know we're we're on the back foot on that that edge, but hopefully our, our quality will uh, will uh, play out in the end for us. And uh, I want to ask you too, like obviously you, you played a lot in, in Germany. We've seen Sapri Singh go off to, to Bayern Munich. Have you kind of followed that closely, just having been in Germany yourself? Yeah, I've, I've, I've followed that. Um, uh, I had a, a previous team colleague at uh, Vancouver went to Bayern as well, Fonzo Davies. Um, so I, I, I followed him along because uh, that was a great opportunity for him. He's a young kid. I think he was. He moved. He was just just turned 18. Or um, Sapri, I'm not sure exactly how old he is. I think he's also around the 18, 19, 19 20 mark. Yeah. So uh, I, I look forward to seeing him uh, thrive uh, over there. Uh, he'll have to make that first step into the third league team and um, stamp out his mark and uh, and then uh, hopefully make that transition over into the first team because they they look pretty quickly uh, to see if you'll you'll have the the capability to play there. And he's done very well over here in the A League. So. Um, I'm watching and uh, waiting and expecting. <laughs> yeah, because uh, yeah, you played in that, that third league. What's that level kind of like? Um, it's pretty rough. So uh, you'll get um, you know not the best pitches. Um, you'll get uh, very uh, competitive and, and, and physical players. Maybe not the best on the ball. Uh, and when you play against a team like Bayern Munich too, um, you uh, you come with a little bit of extra. Uh, motivation. <laughs> so uh, every game for, their, for them will be tough and they'll be fighting probably for uh, uh, well, against relegation um, this, this year. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, because um, yeah, I guess yeah, I haven't been in Germany and kind of seeing the scale of, of Bayern Munich. Is it pretty remarkable that a Kiwi is at a, a club like that? Um, I don't think so with uh, the development that, uh, that has happened here. Uh, in, in New Zealand football side of things uh, for young players, especially with the Phoenix giving uh, players of that uh, age the opportunity to play, um, uh, and, you know, with men's football, uh, I don't think it's uh, too surprising that New Zealand should produce um, a player that's able to um, move over to Europe. Chris Wood's done it, um, uh, Winston Reid to maybe a lesser extent since I'm not sure his upbringing here, but you know, Woodsy for definitely for one, um, Thomas another one. They've just uh, they've, they've shown it's possible. So um, you know, to all the young kids out there, it's definitely possible. It's not a fairy tale dream. Yeah, because in terms of the the all whites, is it exciting to yeah when you when you see you know, national teammates going to, to clubs like that? I mean, ultimately, it should strengthen the national team. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, I would expect that uh, he comes into the next camp full of confidence and uh, uh, ability to play and fight for his position and uh, with that competition that he'll uh, probably for the for the first real time experience over in Europe, uh, come back as a better player. Just want to quickly ask about uh, Stephen Taylor as well, coach at the Cat Arbor Baby, he's going to be skipper this year. How have you found him as a leader and what can we expect from him? Um, exciting. So, <laughs> Stephen Taylor comes with a hell of a lot of experience, but that everyone can see that on, on paper. So, uh, he'll, uh, he'll definitely lead the team in the right direction. He'll have the right things to say, but uh, what I've experienced from him right now is all the lads love him. We, uh, we can look up to him, uh, what he's achieved, and uh, just his drive continually. Um, you know, even though he's in his 30s, so uh, you know, some people, some people have less drive, but I think he's got even more. So uh, it will be a great role model for the young lads to have. You guys didn't play when he was in Portland. Did, I don't know if the timing doubled up there. No, I don't think the timing doubled up there. But uh, we did have a couple. Ch we've had a, me and him have had a couple of chats about some of the players uh, I've played with, he's played with, and. Uh, Football's a small world, so it's, you know. Oh, I played with him. Oh, yeah. I also played it with him against them. So um, we had a couple of chats about that, but I don't think uh, I don't think we played against each other. Yeah.